Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is March 26th. My name is Dawson and I sell clothing full-time on eBay. The plan for this video is to show you guys a couple of things that have sold recently and then kind of like a point of view of what it looks like when I list 30 items. It's always nice finding these Ariat jeans. These were a good size. They're a little discolored at the bottom, but they still sold for $30. And those are actually on the floor because I'm lazy and I haven't made my box yet. But just, I've never wore these myself, but just by feeling them at the bins and seeing them, these are really nice jeans. Next up, we have this new to me brand. It's called Cryptech. I think this is like a, either like a hunting brand or like a military style brand or self-defense. I don't know. Um, it's sold for $27. And it's right here. Just wanted to show you how cool this camo style hood is. And this was a good color, a pretty big size, but a new to me brand that I'll be on the lookout for. These sold really fast, I think in maybe even a day. These are Lucky brand uh, denim overalls. They were really cute. Those are gonna be in bag number 945, which I already pulled it so I don't have to, but uh, yeah. Pretty solid item there, didn't weigh a ton. And these did sell for $30 plus shipping. Next up we have this Rockstar Energy Drink jersey. Um, nothing too special here. I took a best offer of I believe $15. Um, I'd probably pick it up again because it's still a decent profit when you're finding it from the bins. And that is in bag number 89. 89, okay, nice and at the front here, 88. And 89. There we go. So overall, not a bad flip, but I would have liked a little more from it, but you can't get what you want all the time. So this was a really nice find. I found these like last week. These are polo shorts, but they're called uh, double RL. We'll see if I can show you the tag. I think the tag's actually kind of uh, ripped up in these ones because they're from the 90s, I believe. They're USA made. But that is a really good brand of uh, Ralph Lauren. Um, those sold for $54 on a best offer. I had them listed at $75, but I figure for a pair of shorts, you can't uh, beat that offer. And those are in bin 937. Um, this isn't my first time finding this brand with that tag. I have found other items, so if you ever see it, that's definitely one to be on the lookout. This is just your simple Patagonia t-shirt. Nothing special here. These sold for $12 plus shipping. And that is in bag number 828. Pretty uh, self-explanatory here. Um, cost me nothing at the bins. Turn it into $10 in profit. I'll take that all day. Here's an item that as long as it's in good condition, I'll pick it up at the bins. This is a Gymshark like cropped hoodie for working out. That sold for $14 best offer. And that is in bag number 910. I know for a lot of people that uh, sell Gymshark, it used to do better than it did. But I have seen and heard from other people that this brand is sold like at like TJ Maxx and Ross and places like that now. So. I believe, you know, when things like that happens, the value tends to go down on that because you can get it new with tags for like 20 bucks. So, but I still pick it up, especially if it's an item like that. Here we have this Hannah Anderson Youth Puffer Vest. This sold for a best offer of $16. That will be in bag number 396. This was, uh, from the bins so if i never say where it's from it's obviously from the bins this uh i had really no cost into this at all probably weighs less than eight ounces this was a cute little vest i think this is a decent brand but obviously it's youth so it's not going to bring a ton this will always probably be one of my favorite items to sell or brands it's the patagonia betta sweater jacket this is a woman's extra small and it sold for forty dollars plus shipping that is in bag number eight five one 
Man, they're all in the back today. Oh, wow, that is way back there. So there is that. Always a brand to look out for, especially if you can find it at the outlet. I know it's a little bit harder to do, but if you do look hard enough, you can find it there. One of the better items I thrifted last week was the Snap-on insulated jacket. It sold in less than a week. It sold for $60, um, which I wish I could have got more for it. It probably retails for over 100 However, um, someone uh, someone has these listed on uh, eBay for $90 new with tags. Um, I think free shipping maybe even. even and uh, it's hard to compete with that. I think they have five or six of them left without, like, I don't even think he sold any, so I'll take 60 for that. Here's a brand that I can usually sell pretty quick for a decent amount. These are some True Religion women's cutoff shorts. These sold for a best offer of $14. And those are going to be in bag number 94. So that is a much older item. I'll grab that in a sec. Nice little sale there. Nothing crazy. Um, I will say with True Religion, it seems like it's definitely some styles sell a lot faster and better than others. But for the most part, it's a pretty solid brand to pick up. Always look out for the condition because a lot of the times I find them with, with these missing buttons. Next up are these Dickies Carpenter Pants. These are like paint splattered. These sold for $20. Those are in bag number 897. Which is also up here, so give me a second. Dickies and Carhartt um, pants do sell that are like paint splattered. I believe, if I'm not mistaken though, the white ones sell a lot better than these brown ones. But uh, yeah, um, I'm assuming people wear these for work, but I'm uh, guessing people wear these for streetwear too, so. So I just got done shipping all those items. Now I usually come over here I'll turn these lights on. They're already turned on for the purpose of this video. Today, I did not have my 30 items ready, so I had to get all those ready. I'm gonna talk about that jacket here in a second. It's really neat. So all those need listed today, these two jackets in this chair, and this is like my pile of the rest of the 30 items. So this will be the first item that I list. This is a vintage 90 polo down jacket. It's like a puffer. Um, it's a size medium. This is a really cool jacket in this patch. They call it a cookie. So if you ever see a jacket listed online and it says like Polo Ralph Lauren um, puffer cookie jacket, that's what uh, that patch is referring to. And the cool thing about this is I actually got this off Poshmark for $55. And so back in 2020, when I first started reselling, Vintage was really getting very popular and I'd be able to go on Poshmark and I guess snipe um, Jackets like this a lot like I'd probably find at least one or two a month and it was a pretty good flip especially considering the fact that Thrift stores were closed and things like that. So I had to do a lot of sourcing online ironically enough through another reselling platform but uh, those days are over this is like probably the first item I found that I was able to flip off Poshmark or anything like that in a long, long time. So um, unfortunately, those days are over. It was about 2022 when I really stopped looking for items to resell off of Poshmark because something really annoying started happening. Like I'd find a really cool jacket, it'd be a good price and I'd buy it right away. And then two or three accounts, it was always like the same accounts would offer the uh, seller more money to buy the item. And I really can't blame them. You know, it's one of those things that it's like, what can you do? Um, you can't really threaten the seller and say like, well, you know, uh, I'm upset because you're canceling my order. I mean, they had every right to, I guess. It's not, it's not really great business, but you know, I wouldn't do it, but I'm not, I'm not them. So what can you do? But long story short, Basically every time I would snipe a really uh, profitable item off Poshmark, it would get canceled and someone would pay more for it. Now that you heard a little story about that, it's time to get those 30 items for the left.
I just got done photographing those 30 items. I'm gonna turn these lights off, go upstairs, get a snack, drink some water, and uh, knock those 30 listings out. So here we are, we got 35 drafts this time. As you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and make those live. Select all in this bulk edit. Submit all. And we should be good to go. Uh-oh, well, I'll, I'll fix that real quick. Looks like one had a error. Somehow I missed the uh, size item description on that i'm not sure how but there we go 35 listings up and that is a good feeling so that's going to do it for this video overall it was a pretty productive day i got all my items shipped out and i listed over 30 items one thing i do want to talk about real quick is that i did change my channel name it was dawson's diggings and it's now going to be dynamic dawson um, i don't really want to talk about it too much but basically, when I first started YouTube, I didn't want it to be um, eBay and uh, sourcing and thrifting related. Although I do like making this content, I want to make other videos and I want to do it with my wife and things like that. So uh, just going into the future, my new channel name is going to be called uh, Dynamic Dawson. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, I appreciate everyone that subscribes to the channel. Um, it's growing s slowly, but it is growing and that does make me feel good and uh, I'll see you all in the next video